In this video, we're going to take a look at how to perform a factory reset on an IP phone. Topics covered are as follows. Number one, how to factory reset a IP phone which is running three PCC firmware. Number two, workflow demonstration of performing the factory reset on an IP phone with three PCC firmware. Last item, troubleshooting considerations. To initiate the factory reset on an IP phone, we'll go ahead and press and hold down the pound key. While we're holding down the pound key, we'll go ahead and unplug the phone to remove power. If your phone is using PoE, which would be most common, you would typically want to unplug the RJ45 Ethernet cable from the phone. You can also do a shutdown, wait a few seconds, no shutdown if it's a managed switch. And then after the few seconds passes, we'll go ahead and apply power back to the actual phone. When the power is applied back to the phone, and this may vary slightly depending on which model of phone you have, but in this specific phone, what we'll see is we'll see the actual speaker, also the headphone flash on. In this case, it'll be a green color. And once we see those buttons actually light up in green, we'll go ahead and release the pound key. As Soon as we release the pound key, we want to go ahead and enter in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, asterisk, zero pound key in sequence. And this will actually go ahead and initiate the factor reset. We'll take a look at it here in a moment. The specific phone I'm going to be using for this demonstration is the 6800 series phone with MPP firmware. The link for this phone, as far as the step-by-step -step documentation, is going to be available here. As I mentioned earlier, the lights you actually see light up may vary slightly between the different models of phones. Uh, one phone to be aware of that might be a little bit more challenging to reset to factory default would be the conference series of phones. For example, um, the 8832 phone. That's actually a conference room phone. With that one, uh, there's actually a bar, a, uh, a white bar that will come illuminated on the top. Once the bar comes illuminated, um, you'd basically use the same type of pattern that we have shown here to initiate the factory reset. Now that the phone has completed the factory reset and it actually boots up, um, you will get prompted for entering in a new password. By default, the three PCC Cisco phones do not have a password. So the Cisco three PCC phones, by default, there is no password. If you go ahead and skip right here, the phone will not have a password. And the reason I, I point this out is this is a item uh, that comes up very often as far as questions. So unless you've entered in a password, the phone does not have a password. Um, be aware if the phone is registered to a, um, a service such as WebEx calling, um, it will actually uh, be locked in a sense that um, you will not have admin access to the phone. There is, however, an option in a WebEx calling control hub where you can go under devices and there are settings where you can actually enable the web GUI. Uh, thus, via web browser, you can access the phone if you need to take a look at information on the phone or do some basic settings on it. However, it's only going to be user level access. If you needed to get to the admin access level of the phone and it is registered to a service such as WebEx Calling Control Hub, uh, what you would need to do is basically remove the phone from WebEx Calling Control Hub, temporarily deleting the phone. And then once it's deleted, you can go ahead and reset it to factory default as, as we're showing it here. 
and then once that's completed, um, it would actually come up and prompt you for a new password. You can just hit skip and it'll have no password. At that point, you would be able to access the phone via web browser. Top right corner within the web browser, you would click on admin. There's another option there for advanced. And once you're in the phone as admin advanced, you'll be able to access all the different settings or if you have to do some type of special troubleshooting, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so those are some items just to be aware if you need to do it. However, that would be a more of a corner case situation. Okay, we're going to go ahead and unplug the power of this phone. This phone we're not using PoE. Okay, and uh, we were holding down the pound key. Now we're going to go ahead and press the keys in sequence or order. And as you notice, the lights change. And then also at the top, we have the lights light up. At this point of time, we're going to have the Cisco logo. This this will take a few minutes for it to complete. Um, again, if this was a phone with PoE, um, we could have just unplugged the RJ45 Ethernet cable from the phone, wait a few seconds for the power to fully discharge, and then plug the cable in. Or we could have gone into the actual managed switch where the phone plugs in assuming that it's going to manage switch and we can do a shutdown no shutdown for the respective port uh, we can figure out what port the phone's plugged in via either the mac address of the phone itself by doing show mac add within the switch itself or we can do a show cdp neighbors on a switch itself and figure out what port the actual phone is plugged in now that the phone has been reset it's going to ask us for the password we're just going to hit skip we can actually um, go down and look at the phone information really quickly. So we'll go all the way down to status and then we're going to go product information. Um, one thing to note is um, notice the phone is running quite old firmware. This might present you with some issues of accessing the web page. What we have here now is a situation uh, with the old firmware on the phone where the web GUI is not really accessible so if you notice I've typed in the IP address of the phone and um, right now the browser is just spinning and spinning nothing is happening so one way to get around this issue is actually downloading an older version of Firefox browser so for example newer browsers may not like uh, devices that have older firmware and may not function correctly as we're seeing here so we can go basically to this FTP site right here the ftp.mozilla.org forward slash pub forward slash firefox forward slash releases forward slash and I find this specific vintage of firefox works very well with the uh, older firmware on the 3PCC phone. So this is a 15.0 B6 forward slash Win32 forward slash in for English dash US forward slash. And then basically this right here would be the executable we would download. And then once that's installed, uh, basically as you can see here, now we're able to access the phone itself. Um, obviously, a few moments ago, we reset the phone to factory default. Um, I'm logged in as advanced, also as admin. If I was not logged in as admin right now, this would actually say login admin. And in this case, it's not since we're ready admin. And here, if we need to perform any special types of settings, uh, we can do so. Um, so, for example, if we needed to go to voice, we needed to go to provisioning, and we needed to put any specific types of settings in here if we were having issues with firmware upgrades etc etc we can accomplish that once we've accomplished what we needed to do we can go ahead and if we need to reset the phone back again to factory defaults if it was a firmware upgrade related issue if you will uh, but hopefully this has helped you in the uh, resetting a cisco IP phones with 3PCC firmware. Good luck with your installation and usage with the 3PCC phones. Thank you for watching.